it would be really nice if this could look like how it looks like for everyone else on the internet. Oh god. <laughs> Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today we're going to be trying henna freckles. So I have never done henna before. Henna freckles or henna just in general, this is my very first time. I have done fake freckles before but I did it with like an eyeliner pencil. When you do it with an eyeliner pencil it doesn't really last long on your face. It wipes away almost instantly. So I wanted to try something more permanent and I've been seeing that this is a really popular trend right now so I thought why not try it. I bought this henna off Amazon hopefully that is a good place to buy henna because I honestly have no idea. So before we get started, if my camera will focus, this is the henna that I'm going to be using today. Again, I am a noob at this, so I tried to do some research online and I found that it's best to use a reddish brown henna for doing fake freckles. So that's what we're going to be using today. The henna set that I bought came with this pink applicator and I think that this is for noobs like me. So hopefully this will help me out. As you guys can see, I already do have some freckles. So I have this thing right here, which some people like to call a beauty mark, but I honestly think it's just a freckle. A freckle here, a thing here. I'm 25% Irish, so I'm pretty sure that that is where I get my freckles from because the parent who is 50% Irish also has the same ones that I have. So. so while doing research on how to do henna correctly, I read that it's good to shave the area where you're going to apply the henna. So as you guys know, I shaved my face. So of course I just shaved my nose and like right here, I actually shaved my whole face, but for the sake of this video, I shaved my nose and like right under my eyes. Also, apparently you want to keep it like oil free. So right now my skin is dry. Okay, now let's try this. I don't know, I've seen some people do this online and they do it really effortlessly. So hopefully that can work for me. Although I feel like this is my first time trying it. So I might want to just go a little bit slower. Ooh, okay. Everything looks good so far. I just don't want it to look like polka dots. Oh, it smells. It smells really strong. Interesting. Ooh, I like it already. Ugh. It looks really cool. Okay, I think that's good. Ooh, this looks so cool. Oh my god. Okay, I need another bobby pin because I don't want my hair to get in this. Wait, it kind of looks like I need... No, I want it to look more natural, so I don't want it to look too, like, I just did it on my face, which is why I tried to put, like, a few here, a few up here, but I was thinking maybe I need more on the tip of my nose. So I've read from a few sources. Some people say to leave it on for 20 minutes, and some websites say to leave it on for six hours. So I think I'm just going to go with... 20 minutes because the person who recommended the 20 minutes was also doing henna freckles and the person who recommended six hours or 12 hours was the one who did more of like the traditional henna on your hand or like on other parts of your body not freckles so i'm gonna just try the 20 minutes and this is really strong but i'm gonna let this dry for 20 minutes and then when i take it off i will come back and show you guys excuse me my cat will not stop scratching in the litter box. That's what's preventing me from talking to you guys. So let's just wait until he's done in there. Okay, so I am gonna take it off. It's been over 20 minutes, but it's been under a half hour. So, so I've read to not take it off with anything wet. So I was like, okay, I'll just take it off with like one of these. And just sort of like scrape it off my face because I've read that that's a good thing to do. Some people said to use a credit card, some people said to use your fingers, but I don't want to use my fingers, so I was thinking of using this, but then I was like, why not just use one of my razors that I use to shave my face? So this is the razor that I used to shave my face before filming this video. So I'm going to see if this is like a good tool to use to take off henna. If not, I will just use something else. Like, I don't know if you could shave henna off of your face. It's really dark. It's really freaking dark. Whoa. Oh my goodness gracious, this is freaking me out. I think I'll probably just need something a little bit more to wipe off this henna because this is not working. Oh, 
Oh, hmm, interesting. Okay, I'm just confused because everyone online says to wipe it off using something that's not wet, but how it's not coming off because it's so dry, so I'm confused. Well, because I don't want this to be super dark, I'm just gonna get a damp cloth, like not even that wet, just a little bit damp to wipe this off because oh, it's really sticking to my face. So I'll be right back. <laughs> Come off my face! <laughs> probably used the wrong shade. I'm probably not supposed to use red. I thought I was supposed to use red brown. That's the one that I used. I don't know, maybe I, <sighs> well, it's too late now. Okay, I'm actually gonna try to go like exfoliate, use like an exfoliator or something because um, it's not coming off, so I'll be back. So I found like a small solution, sort of. If you use one of these face scrubbers, which I know that probably 99% of you probably don't have, but if you happen to have one and you just put a facial scrub on, and you just scrub your face where you put the freckles. This is somewhat helping get them off. So I don't know what I did. I'm sure I did something wrong and I, you know, I, I honestly expected myself to screw something up. I'm assuming maybe I did the wrong shade. Maybe I left it on for too long, although I thought I left it on for like 25 minutes, 25 minutes, which I didn't think was that long. But of course this is just my first time. So it would be really nice if this could look like how it looks like for everyone else on the internet. Oh God. <laughs> so somehow I got all of that off my face. I think I got as much as I possibly can get off my face. And I'm noticing like the harder that you scrub, the more that comes off, but I don't want to scrub my skin that hard. Like, okay, I really need Vaseline, but I just feel like when you, I feel like that's damaging to your skin to like drag it down so much. So I did not want to do that. I really, really, really like it. This is what it looks like. And I feel like it definitely looks a lot better now that I wiped most of it off. I was freaking out for a little bit because I thought that it was going to stay on my face like that. And that's just kind of scary. So I feel like it looks really good. I haven't read anything online about putting makeup on. Like, I don't know if people just leave their face bare with these freckles or what, but I would like to put makeup on and see how it looks. So I'm gonna try that right now and hopefully you are still able to see the freckles. Yeah, so I'm just gonna do my regular makeup and then I will be right back. All right, so this is how it looks with makeup on and everything. I just used BB cream, so this is how fake freckles with henna look with BB cream after wiping it off. And this is just an up close shot. But yeah, you guys can see that it's still clearly there. I struggled to get the henna off. I'm looking at my face and I can, I mean, okay, here's the thing. It looks really good. Like I like it a lot and I think it looks awesome and really cool. The only thing is that I'm a little bit nervous to tell my coworkers like, hey, I tried henna freckles, like just to let you know, that's why I have these freckles on my face. I'm really hoping that I don't have to like explain it to 50 million people because that's something that's super annoying is when you have like a change to your physical appearance and then every person that you see, you have to say something to. So I think I'm just gonna wait until people say something and then I will say it. It just, I don't know, it just sucks. Like that's the only thing. Also, I'm babysitting later today. And I don't, I don't know, I don't want the family to be like, well, what happened to your face? Like, ah! But anyway, I do really like it. I think it looks awesome. And again, I just didn't know how intense it would be. Regardless, I think it looks really cool. So if you guys are interested in trying this, I would say to do it, just be aware that it really does stain your skin and it's gonna take one to four weeks from what I've read online to come off. So with that being said, I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys liked this video, please give it a thumbs up. I love all of you and I will talk to you guys next time.